All right, so in this lesson, let's talk about how to essentially select data from our data frame. So we'll start with, you know, creating our Spark session like we normally do. And then we'll load in data. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, it is possible to load in data directly from S3 into Spark, but doing so with a Jupyter Notebook is not so easy. So instead what we'll do is load in data from S3 and we'll load it in first to pandas. So we're reading this data, this is in pandas. Okay, and then from there, we can create, take that data frame and create a Spark data frame from it, right? So this is a pandas data frame that we're passing in to now create a Spark data frame. All right, and now we can just confirm that that worked and it, <laughs> Look at that. Let's do a, this should be called movie spark df dot show three. And hopefully this will show us like the first few rows. Um, and there they are. So what's next? Okay. So let's start with columns. We already essentially saw how to select columns. So you can do movies spark df dot select. And then you can pass through the name of a column like genre. And then maybe just show the first couple of these. And if you want to do more than one, I believe you pass through a list. So do genre, then budget. See that? And as we said, it's good to like keep in mind what's going on under the hood, right? Uh, so this is essentially performing a map to select the genre and budget from each one of these rows. And also, of course, if we don't have that show at the end, it's not actually going to perform this right until we have that action performed. So this is how we select columns, right? We start with the original data frame. We call the select method. If it's just one column, you can just pass through the string directly. If it's more than one column, you put that in a list. Okay, now selecting rows is a little trickier. Um, I'll show you how to do it and then we can break it down. So here's how you do it. Right now, I'm selecting, trying to find the movies with the title of Spectre, okay? So the way to do that is you start with the movies data frame, I'll we'll call this movie spark data frame. Okay, so selecting rows is a little trickier. So let's talk about that. So what I'll do is I'll start again with my movie spark data frame. Let's create a new. Th then I'll say I just let's try to select this guy right here. So to do that, I have to do movie spark df again and find where the title equals equals specter. And then I believe I can call dot show. So we're just I'm just doing this directly and then we can break it down. And there you go. So we did select or fill, call that filter method under the hood to find this movie. Now to explain what's going on here, it's actually a little easier if we move to pandas because this interface comes from pandas. So let's break this down in pandas. So we can go back to our movies data frame and let's explain how we would select a movie, the movie that has Spectre in pandas. Well, the format is exactly the same. Um, it's movies df, select uh, the title where that equals specter, oopsies. And now let me, so now that we've done it quickly, let's see if we can understand it in pandas. All right, so here's the first thing to understand, which is that we are basically selecting all the title entries, right? This column from the data frame. Now this equals equals, this is where does this title equal specter? And what this will return is a set of true or false values for each row here, okay? So these are Boolean values, one for each row in the original data frame because it's continually asking the question, all right, does this equal specter? False, does this equal, equal specter? False. This one obviously is true. Then it returns the true or false values, 
and you pass this set of true or false values into the data frame. And for every location that this is true, it's going to return that row. So now I can press shift return, and there it is. Let's do this once more in pandas so that we understand this. So it's movies data frame. Then let's try to select those that have a runtime over, I don't know, 120. So to, so to do this, we'll say, let's select the runtime. And now we want those that are greater than 120. So this gives me back a bunch of Boolean values. Let's do a larger number so that we see some false values here. Let's say 155. So you can see we get these true and false values. And now if I pass this into the movie's data frame, then for every value, Boolean value that was true, it will return that row. And there it is, all right? All of these are above 155. And you can see in the index that is skipping row number two because I guess the runtime was below 155 there. So in Spark, it's exactly the same kind of format, right? Here I have this movie Spark DF. And let's just add a couple more rows here. And if I want to select the movies that have a runtime over 155, I do the exact same thing. I do movies df runtime. So select this runtime column, okay? And select where it's greater than 155. And then we'll do dot show. Let's see if this works. I'll just show the first couple ones. And it breaks. Um, unexpected type, because this should be movie spark df. Okay. So this is the exact same kind of format, right? Find those val find those rows that have a runtime greater than 155. This returns a set of Boolean values, a set of Boolean values. And then for each one of those true or false values, when it's true, return that row.